come in and could you join as we do another little collaboration build. So today's build is inspired by the British summertime and your girl came up with the whole concept. So we have a lot of other people getting involved with this collab, both Brits and non-Brits. So make sure to check out those videos afterwards and definitely give them all the love for taking part because the girl knows that she kind of messed up with this project between like having COVID and everything. So it's not been the best time, but we're here, we're doing it, we're doing the build. So it's all good to go. So yeah, the, the theme of this collaboration is British summertime, which I'm going to tell you, trying to explain what this meant to the non-Brits was a journey. So myself and the other Brits kind of like suggested like Wimbledon, bank hall the afternoons and the park, seaside, etc, etc. But like, I guess it's kind of one of those things like if you're British, you know what like the kind of stereotypical feeling of like a British summertime is. Um, but yeah, I guess the extent of it is the girls that get it, get it. And the girls that don't, don't. So for my build, we are over on Happy Home Paradise because I have like no space left on my island or either island I have. So I had Gonzo on my Happy Home Beach. So I thought he was kind of the cutest little guy to kind of take on this persona, but also like koalas aren't typically British, but never mind, we love it, we love it. And yeah, so we've got this little spot, which is technically one of the icy ones, but I put it in summer because I kind of love like the water and the waterfall and just those vibes. And if you want to know what it looked like before, here is kind of it in winter and I'll put on screen what the actual plot is as well if you want to create your own build there. So for my concept, I'm kind of just like, I'm going to shut off like the left hand side and fill it with trees because we were meant to have like a dimension for this, but I don't think any of us really kept to it. So never mind on that. And generally I'm going to go for like a pub house kind of vibe where people can kind of walk around the edge with their dogs, come and sit here on like a nice hot day and have some bevs with a friend or like a group of friends and just yeah kind of that like country house pub vibe I don't know but we're gonna go for it so I'm gonna kind of just like let the video play and get the grind work going for this get the paths done and then I'll come back and we'll kind of talk about what items I want to use So in terms of items, I'm kind of thinking some nice like seating. I definitely want like a big table and a few small tables because you know, there's going to be a eclectic bunch of people that are going to come and hang out. And then also I want to have some of the seats kind of like on the water's edge. Technically it's like meant to be kind of like just the natural pathing, but I feel like we all know some like bars that kind of just push their luck a little bit and like take on just the natural pathing, which is fine because like in this specific theoretical one, it's on the edge. Like nobody's really gonna walk right there. So it's fine, it's fine. Gonzo, you're not in trouble. You're good, you're a good boy. I wanna add a little bit more detail in that kind of backside bit where it's kind of more like an extension of the pub, like use some barrels and that, just to kind of make it be like the outdoor storage and waste area. So I also want to use the plant partitions because I think they'll give a bit more structure and detail to the area, which I think it really needs. I think it'll just help pull it together. 
So I want to kind of close off this bit with some fencing. I'm going to have a little bit of a play around and see what I can do. Okay, now for the important part. We need to add like the pizzazz, the drinks, the food. Okay, we also definitely need the dogs in. Like we have the little water bowl for the doggies. This is too cute. I love this. And I really want to use the fish and chips, but I don't think I have the fish and chips. So we're going to have to go for some like other typical pub grub, like your basic chips and crisps and snacky stuff. Okay, we're just gonna use that and it can be like some like fancy schmanchy vegan brand or something. Okay, this is cute. This is cute, right? There's ducks hanging around here, especially seagulls trying to steal everybody's food. They're monsters. Okay, I know I spend time working out the fencing, but try some of the party lights instead. Okay, you know what? I'm loving all of this, but we kind of just need to like yeet it over like a space or two to the edge. And I think that will give us a little bit more space to work with. Okay, I'm, I'm happy with how this is turning out. Okay, I love this. This turned out exactly how I wanted it to, so I'm super happy. Now let's get the cinematic clips going. Should I do the interiors for this at some point? Let me know if you want me to do like a video recreating like a British pub garden interiors because that could maybe be kind of fun. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed what I created. Make sure to like and subscribe if you did and also comment down below. Don't forget, go check out the other people who collaborated in this. I'm so excited to see the builds. Let me know who you think did the collaboration the best. Was it the Brits or the non-Brit? Let's get a bit spicy up in here and i hope to see you in the next video or streams but until then stay safe stay cozy although maybe not because it's summertime so stay moderately tempered until the next time slanja bye